So my path to the, the Dominicans has, uh, was a bit of a windy road. Um, I was a professional soccer player for 13 years in my late teens and most of my 20s. So I discovered my vocation quite late in life. Uh, in the sense, it was about when I was about 29, kind of started to return to the practice of my faith through, through the, I suppose, the, the example of, of my sister. Started to read about the faith and really uh, take it very personally for the first time. And that led me on a really dis a discovery of the faith uh, for the first time in a very deep way. Uh, and to actually make the decision to leave my football career, return to Belfast and, and pursue a vocation. So I'd never thought about being a priest at all growing up that wasn't there at all. When I came home to Belfast in 2009 and I'd returned to Mass and I was taking a break from the game and I was thinking of possibly what would I do after my football career. I still intended to, to finish my career maybe at 35, at six years maybe left. But in the course of that year, the practice of my faith just became so strong and all encompassing now. And um, I decided to kind of leave football and pursue what I perceived at that time, a, a priestly vocation. When I look back at it now, um, I had a desire for community life, um, but my priestly vocation was quite strong. I felt the Lord calling me to be a priest. And so I joined the diocesan seminary in Belfast and, um, and spent two years there in St Malachy's in Belfast and then I went to Rome uh, to study my first year of theology. It was in that year in Rome really where it really came to a head, where I realised that my whole life as a footballer was uh, surrounded by teammates uh, pursuing a common goal. I tended to, f I thought I'd flourish better within a, a group setting, living a religious life in, in a more communal way. And I started to really feel that maybe God was calling me to to a religious way of life and, and community and more fraternity and community living. And so in that year, I quite providentially came across a number of Dominican brothers for the first time in Rome. And I really learned about the order then. I didn't know much about it. And just the, the, the charism captured me. And at that stage, I contacted the bishop of my diocese and, and told him that I would uh, be leaving to discern either monastic or religious life. I'd visited a number of communities. Uh, but in that summer of 2000, um, 2012, I met with the Dominican's uh, vocation director and I entered the, the novitiate uh, that summer. So that's uh, how I ended up in the order. 